Hi, this is Nick for Spara Home and today I'm about to show you an apartment in Via di Santa Costanza. We are in the Trieste neighborhood and what about it? For connections, the best way to move around the city is to take the subway, uh, which is three minutes away from here. The Santanese and Ivaliano stop the station, the B subway, yes. Uh, otherwise, you can go to Via Nomentana, which is two minutes away from here and in Via Nomentana, there are many buses going anywhere in the city in the, to the center or to the other side so it's very well connected plus you are 10 minutes away by walk from the lewis university uh supermarket there's one right in front of the building and maybe seven minutes away from here there's a 24 7 very handy uh what else that's a very lived neighborhood so in the nearby in the trieste neighborhood you have many restaurants and shops and everything you might need uh what else there's a, there are many parks in the nearby the closest one i don't know the name but it's like three minutes away or you have Villa Torlonia five minutes away anyway uh, what else we are on the first floor with elevator that's a four bedrooms shared apartment so let's check it out this is the entrance door there you go and we already are in the hall with these two couches this is a sofa bed actually so I think you might host somebody once in a while there's a shelf over there with a collection of beer bottles Paintings, paintings, a little table with this TV. And here's the table uh, for chairs. This is openable so you can get bigger. There's a lamp over there, a nice feather on the wall. And there you go, this is the corridor. Okay, so let's start with the kitchen here on the right. Okay, so the kitchen is fully equipped. We have the sink over there, gas stove. There should be an oven. I don't know. Maybe that's the oven. Yes, that, that's, that's an oven, clearly. And we have a lot of space everywhere. I see fry pans and cutlery over here. More dishes, glasses, all the tools. That's a scola pasta. Sorry, I have no idea of the English word some food over here teacups big refrigerator with the freezer and here we have another piece of furniture there you go One storage unit let's say table with three extra chairs and there's a trail over here this is facing the interior all right so this is the kitchen got drawers drawers over here drawers all right and here we have bedroom number one which is I think the biggest bedroom I've ever seen in my life anyway we have queen size bed over here with two bedside tables there's a lamp desk with a chair here we have a wardrobe with a mirror door as you see and that's the sides of it bar for hangers and shelves uh, how about here another bar and another bar and there's another wardrobe over here there you go well it's pretty big two shelves a little round table with two chairs and these are the huge windows see facing the interior okay these are parking lots not belonging to you sorry all right so this is bedroom number one there you go let's move on on the right we have the bathroom the shared bathroom among the three tenants of bedroom number one two and three and this is the shared bathroom which is pretty big okay so piece of furniture here with uh, doors uh, uh, drawers the sink with a big mirror on the wall the washing machine over here the shower there you go Another cabinet over here, busy with cleaning tools and products. And the bidet, the bowl, the window facing the same interior as the kitchen. There you go, very quick look. And this is it. This is the bathroom. And there's an extra heater over here on the heater there. All right, so let's go on and see bedroom number two. Okay, so queen size bed over here too as well because that's pretty huge as well. And armchair, that's a shoe rack, I think. And there you go. You have a pretty huge wardrobe here as well. 
hooks for coats and jackets. A little lamp over here. Two, shel two shelves, the desk with a chair. Facing the parking spaces again. A mirror here. And that's the wardrobe bar with hangers. And how about here? Bar with hangers and drawers. Well, that's, that's definitely big. The rest you will have to imagine. Okay, so bedroom number two. Let's go on. Bedroom number three, which is the smallest one, but it still has, anyway, a double bed with a shelf and a lamp, flowers on the walls, shelves over there, over here, an S shaped mirror, and here's the wardrobe. Let's see. There's a bar for hangers and drawers here. And how about here? This side, it's closed. Well, not have, I don't have time to lose. And this one has two big windows. There you go. Ah, yes, there's a fan as well. Very handy during the summer. And a desk with a chair. I don't know if I already said that. Anyway, a lamp, the heater, and I would say that's about it. Oh, no, yeah, there's this. I mean, we call it poofs, but I have no idea in, in English how to call it. Anyway, you have that thing. Okay, so this was bedroom number three. And finally, bedroom number four, which has lived at the moment, as you can clearly understand by yourselves. Anyway, wardrobe over here, which I'm not going to open because it's messy and I don't want to mess with somebody else's privacy. The mirror is here, hook for coats. There's a TV, but this one belongs to the tenant. And there's a desk with a chair, a library over here, two bedside tables with drawers, plants and lamps. And there's another, an extra wardrobe over here. Some hooks over there. And the queen size bed. And this bedroom has the ensuite bathroom, which is this one, with a sink with a mirror, the bidet, the bowl, the bar for towels, three bars for towels, actually. There you go. And this is the shower, built-in shower with a curtain here and hooks for towels. Okay, and you have a little cabinet over here and well i would say that's about it from this apartment but if you have any doubts or if you need any further details just go on our website spotahome.com thank you for watching and i'll see you next apartment ciao ciao